This is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to learn about the how to reset a password in a PostgreSQL. Like many people have a concern, like they uh, once they install the PostgreSQL install, uh, installations, once they done with the PostgreSQL installation, after some time they want to access those PostgreSQL installation Postgres basically, but they cannot able to access. So how we can reset the forgot? How we can forgot password of the PostgreSQL or how we can reset the password of the PostgreSQL. as well. So what does it mean? Let me quickly tell you. So what I'm doing guys, let me quickly search the SQL shell. Once I open this SQL shell, you can see guys, uh, this is normal SQL shell we have. If I'm trying pressing enter, 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 enter. And if I'm pressing here wrong password here, if I'm entering here wrong password, you can see I will get message error connections to server at local host post. So password authentication fail. It means we can't able to access. So what exactly we have to do in such cases, guys? We have to reset. So how what how we have to do, guys? So for that, what exactly we have to do? We have to go to the C drive first. What exactly we have to do? We have to go to the C drive first. Okay. Once you enter in a C drive, then you have to go to the program files. Once you go to the program files, you have to search the PostgreSQL folder. Once you select the PostgreSQL folder, whatever versions you will have, in that version you have to enter, and then after that version you have to enter. You have to enter in a data folder. Once you enter in data folder, we have a one file which is named as an pg underscore hba dot pon file. So in this file you have to enter. Now for safer side, what we have to do? We are going to make a copy of this file. So I'm just making a copy of this file. Once this is done, you can see the file copy we created over here. You can see this is the file copy safer side we are just creating. Now in this file, what exactly? What are the changes we have to do, guys? Now let me quickly open this file. And we have to make changes. What changes basically we have to do? Uh, whatever thing we have, you can see from uh, SCRA, uh, RAM, SHA 256. This is key we have. So uh, we have to reset this key. So what we have to do? We have to just simply use trust over here. Like everywhere we have to mention trust, guys. Okay, everywhere what we have to mention, we have to mention trust here. Okay, so in front of the all statements, you have to mention the trust. Please make a note of this one. Once you are done with this thing, then what is the next actionable item, guys? We have we have to save this file. Okay, once we save this file, and again we have to restart your Postgres as well. How to restart? Simple. We have to open the services here, and in this services file, in this services, we have to search the we have to restart the Postgres as well. Once we restarted our Postgres as well, what we have to do, guys? Again, we have to open the SQL shell. Now you can see again I am going to open the SQL shell. Once I am opening the SQL shell, you can see. Uh, if I'm pressing enter button here, enter button, enter button, enter button, and now you can see we didn't enter the password here. Still, I can able to log in successfully. Still, I can able to uh, fetch the information over here. You can see I can able to connect to the database here. So this is how we just connected with an you know we just connected without an uh, password over here. This is uh, what basically we did. Whatever things basically we did in PostgreSQL dot uh, config file uh, with the help of those changes. Now you you don't need to define the password now what we have to do you have to alter your password so how exactly we have to do now suppose and i have to alter my password so simple what command we have to use alter user alter user postgres postgres with password password space in double quote you have to define your password suppose i'm defining our my password over here and i'm just providing semicolon and if i'm pressing enter button once it's done, you can see guys alter rule successfully here. Once I reset my password here, what we have to do now? I have to close this SQL shell. Again, I have to restart my what I have to restart, guys. I have to restart my Postgres SQL. Once I'm done with this thing, then what is the next thing we have? I have to delete this file. Which file, guys? This file I have to delete. Whatever changes basically we made, we just need to change this file. And whatever file we copied, we just need to rename this file. So how to rename? Simple, we have to rename the file like this. And once this is done, again, I have to restart my uh, Postgres as well. Once I'm done with this thing, then what is the next thing we'll have, guys? We have to again open the SQL shell. And now this time, if I'm pressing enter button over here, if I'm entering my password, which I recently said, like G Jadav, you can see whenever I'm entering the password in a SQL shell, uh, command from command line so you can't see the password over here and if i'm pressing enter you can see guys now i can able to successful login with my entered new password please make a note of this point this is how basically we can reset the password of the postgres well that's it for today thanks for watching this video